Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 105.4. Look to the Lord for his strength. Seek his face always. So, yeah. Alright, so last week I said I was having a zipper foot um, issue. And I was. I am no longer. I am happy to report I am no longer. So there were some suggestions that were made to me about maybe getting a new machine or you know just because mine's so old maybe I should look at getting one uh, I tried to find zipper feet I researched it and anyway I'm gonna explain to you why I will not get a new machine I number one love my little brother here okay it is a VX 1010 it is 30 plus years old, 35 maybe. I got it when my daughter was young. She's 36, 34. She'll be 35 this year. So yeah, I've had it a while and I made her clothes on this. So not only for sentimental value, but this is metal. Um, let me see if I can do this without creating too much of a disturbance. Okay, so this part plastic, this is plastic, and this is plastic. The rest of, oh, and the top is plastic. The rest of this is metal, metal base. Um, it does so many amazing things. For its time, 35 years ago, this was a good machine. This did a lot of things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what all it can do. So first off, it can do all of these stitches and many more, okay? So, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It starts as a straight stitch, goes to the scalloped, different ones, you know, it does all of these. And honestly, I have not even used all of these, okay? I have used a few, I do use a few. It is what it is, but it does this and so many more. Um, it is one of the few that, and when I had it, this is what made it great. Um, let me get you, I'll show you what I do with it. Oh, okay, it's down here. Okay, so there was one extra feature. Um, it came with a couple of extra feet, okay. Had a zipper foot, that adjustable zipper foot that I used. And then it came with these two items right here. Uh, so it also had a, uh, I don't remember what you call it. Um, anyway, it had a, an adjustable zipper foot. Oh, it had my little walking foot with it, a generic walking foot. Um, so, which my granny might have put that in the box. I'm not sure it actually came with it. So, the other thing that my machine does that not a lot do anymore, um, and this was my answer to, I always wanted a serger. I told you all that when I ordered it. So, came with this and this. And I'm gonna take you over here. And I'm going to try and show you what these two things do. So first, this attaches up here. All right. And this, I don't know if you can see it, is a double needle, which attaches into my regular thing. You can run two uh, threads and sew at the same time. Okay. So that means... And it does all of those stitches I showed you as a double, okay? So that means it can do like this. I never did use the zigzag. I never felt the two color, you know. But, and you can see I adjusted it and played in there. Um, you could do it with the same um, thre color threads 
or you could do separate but this each one of these is one stitch okay and I did it red and black because that's what I had you know on the machine but yeah so it not only sewed but it did double stitches okay which was as close to a serger as I was gonna get for many many years all right so getting a new machine I, I didn't feel was an option for me okay uh, I'm sorry I am attached to this little guy oh I remember what the other the walking foot was not what came with it, it came with buttons you can do uh, buttons and buttonholes with that machine as well so yeah um, this just goes over the pressure foot and you twist it to zero and zero so that it's not moving at all and yeah, you sew buttons on with it so that was the other thing that it came with the walking foot I know I got it from my granny but it's just a universal so it's got a walking foot and a guide so it came with that um, it came with an adjustable zipper foot okay the needle oops the needle is the kind that can go in three different positions left right or middle okay so yeah it for its time 30 some years ago it was an amazing machine I understand everybody thinks now it's old and blah 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 um, but it's not <laughs> not not done with by far okay because I have never had to even replace the belt knock on wood never even had to replace the belt on it uh, now this weekend I did take time and I updated it a little bit because there was another person that let me know that there was an easy way to make my machine snap on so I did a little research and she is absolutely correct let me all right so as you can see I have updated my foot to a snap-on okay uh, and I love it this right here is a low shank adapter and I am in love with it they snap on snap off now with this adapter I also got several other feet okay so I ordered this uh, which I didn't know you could get adapters okay I didn't I thought your machine came one way or the other so I ordered this from sewingpartsonline.com okay and I'm going to tell you right now if you sew it all they're doing a Christmas in July uh, July 10th through the 14th at 9 a.m. it's a live thing on Facebook and it says they're going to give $10,000 worth of giveaways so I have to work but hey starts at 9 a.m. Central alright so back to this little foot that I bought so I bought it and I picked this set out for a reason I wanted the adapter that I was told about I got online and I um, investigated and thought lo and behold I can do this it's affordable the set that I got from them is it came with 12 pieces okay snap on presser foot low shank 12 piece okay so it came with my narrow zipper foot and yes I already finished that bag I will show you I'm so happy so you can see the difference between the the adjustable regular piping zipper foot and the narrow okay it's definitely smaller 
All right, so it came with that, but then it also came with, and I'm probably not going to be able to show them all, but it came with an overcasting foot. Um, I don't know how to show zipper feet very well. It came with a list of them okay so it's got overcasting zigzag which i already had a zigzag foot um you know that came with my machine to begin with so yeah and i have labeled them because some of them i won't remember because i've never dealt with them zigzag foot yeah i got right now i've got the straight stitch foot on there um this one is a blind stitch, which my um, serger also came with a blind foot. So I'm thinking I need to take the time to learn how to use these blind stitch feet. And that way I can do it on both the serger and the um, sewing machine. So it came with a hammer. A cording float zipper foot I'm sorry foot cording foot zipper foot button foot and buttonhole so um, it does have and I was gonna show you here it has a little bit different version of a button foot so mine you just use your zigzag uh, foot so this is what mine had you put this over the dogs there's actually little holes for these pins to go into and you turn it on zigzag with uh, no length and it will just go back and forth and put your zipper on okay pretty simple well this one came with a button foot it snaps on and uh, it snaps on and it looks like this so I'm not really sure how to use this one okay but I will figure that part out too it also came with a buttonhole foot and I will figure this one out too. Um, the machine that I gave Tori, my daughter, had all the stitches marked on this uh, for use with this. So I am going to probably go back, look at her machine, and then figure out what stitches, and then just do them. So yeah. But anyway, so I got that set, and Oh, and it came with a little um, arm guide or fabric guide, arm guide. I don't know what you call them, but it also came with a little guide. Okay, so the little feet you can put the put it on them, and it'll guide across. So yeah, but and it came with I believe a seam ripper. Yeah, a little seam ripper. That was the twelve pieces. So you only got like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine feet, the adapter, and then you got like a seam ripper and a guide. Okay, and let me tell you something. This thing is super tiny. <coughs> Not exactly tiny, but anyway. So, no, I'm not going to get rid of my machine. I'm not going to replace it. I love everything that it does and so much more okay um i did upgrade to the new foot and i am super stoked about it i am loving it now one of the other things while i was looking for this foot the one thing about this machine that was broke it that was the only thing that was broke and it got broke back when rj was a little bitty and i bet you he was two years old he's 20 some years old so the only thing huh, that was broke was this. It had broke off right here. I don't know if you can see that. And 
when you pushed it down, it didn't hold, uh, it didn't go high enough to hold my spools very well. So I simply had put the white one on here that you're supposed to use for the double thread, and I had been using it that way. Well, while I was online finding the uh, snap-on adapter, I found a spool pin. It literally cost me $3.99 to do that. And it's uh, held in by a little clip. That's it. I took the top, took two screws out, took the top off, pulled the clip out, pulled the other one out, put that one in, put the clip back on, and put it right back on my machine. And I was done. It was that simple. So, yeah, I do love this machine. I will probably have this machine forever. Um, not going to get rid of it. Did upgrade it, and I am super happy with the upgrade. Okay, to a point where, oops, sorry about that. To a point where I went ahead and I played a little bit. And look at how tight and how nice these zippers went in. Da, 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 da. I already have it half done, but look at that. Oops, forgot where my camera was. Look at that. Now, it is a little bit, I do need to get a little more experience. The smaller foot tends to move a little bit, so don't judge that. But, this is the second one I did, and as you can see, I got better at it. You know, not perfect, but better. And, yeah, I love it. I can't say enough about it. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, amazing. I'm in love with those feet, and I will learn to use all of them. Like I said, some of them I'm not familiar with. But, hey, uh, there's the, I call it the rolled edge foot. I've been reading, I was watching on, I want to say YouTube. It, it's called a hammer foot is what they say it does. But to me, it does, it rolls your edge for you while you hem. Woo! And uh, it looks pretty complicated, but I think with all the tricks that I learned, I should be able to um, figure this out. And if that is the case, man, my hems are going to go so much faster, which I'm happy with. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, so did that. Um, super stoked about the little upgrade i know it's not anything great great but for me i just put in i think it was like thirty dollars and 18 cents or thirty dollars and 13 cents so it was four dollars for the little thing it was 19.95 for the um pack of feet and it had the adapter with it and shipping and handling was six bucks so i paid thirty dollars and fourteen cents to upgrade my sewing machine and that is all the money i have ever put into it ever so needless to say i did take the time and i tore it all apart i cleaned out everything because i had this top off anyway i cleaned everything i oiled it I have never even, and this sounds horrible, I've never even had to have it serviced. I've never had it to a service man. Um, I just oiled where they said to oil, and I've never done anything else. So, um, now I have cleaned out, you know, the little fuzzies get in where your bobbin is and that kind of stuff. But I've never, never done anything else to it. And that, to me, is a good thing. It's amazing. So, service the machine, put the new parts on it, played with the zippers, Ooh. and then I came up with this little challenge for my daughter. We haven't been able to get together to teach her to sew, so 
each week I'm going to put on a little small project that is going to help her learn her machine. Uh, the first one was just a drawstring bag. Super simple. Not lined. Not anything. Okay. I have the hiccups and I am so sorry. Uh, it showed her, you know, the whole point was to, to let her use the lines on the machine to line the fabric up. Well, now I'm in the middle of working on one that um, you use the fabric to line up your marks and sew around the edge of the fabric to make it what it is. It's going to be a little drawstring bag too. But, um, so first there was one to show her how to use the marks on the sewing machine to make straight stitches. This one is using the edge of the fabric to make straight stitches. Um, and then uh, I'm going to show her how to do a French uh, seam so that she can cover all of her seams. Uh, and then at least she can go to making bags and that kind of stuff. Um, and from there, we're going to go, and she wants to learn to make her own clothes. So I will cover how to make a pattern um, all the way to uh, putting it all together. Um, speaking of that, I had to make a pattern for my sleeve on my thing here. That red and white. The only thing I have left to do is hem the sleeves, hem the bottom, and do the collar. That's it. Um, I finished everything else up today, or this week, and this is why I had to make the sleeve pattern, because I can't find the other one that I made. I don't know why, I just can't. So, I did that. Uh, oh. Um, let's see. What else? The only other thing that I can think of that happened. We don't know why it happened or how it happened, but, um, something got Shop Kitty. Now, Shop Kitty stayed under the cars. We don't know what. We had noticed that there was a gray cat and two smaller black cats that had been coming up starting to eat roommate had seen them i had only seen one but i think because of the where he was found i think they fought over food there was plenty of food in the bowl but they fought over it and i think tiny britches lost um, something had got his neck and yeah it wasn't good so he didn't make it we don't know where he came from, but I do know that he had his best life in the short few months old that he was because he was loved and taken care of and, and I cleaned up the food so that the other cats don't come back. Um, they're feral. They're not anything, you know, people dump cats out in the country and... You know, we don't know that Shop Kitty wasn't a feral cat that just happened to tame down. You know, I, I don't know. I do know that whatever got him, it was nature's way. He wasn't hit by a car on the highway. He wasn't, you know, um, he was got by another critter. And unfortunately, we never saw that one coming. So, anyway... Uh, other than that, RJ's rodeo in. Roommate had birthday on 4th of July. Um, I had 4th of July off. I literally went to work Monday and then had Tuesday off. And now I'm, this is Wednesday and I have to go back and have another Monday on a Wednesday. So, but anyway, you guys are up to date. That's pretty much all that's been going on. Like I said, I updated my machine. Um, thank you for all the, the little emails. But... I really don't want a new machine. I know this machine inside and out. And I appreciate 
the suggestion of looking into the adapter because that's what I did and I love it. Um, got extra feet to learn about. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So having fun playing, making the challenges for my daughter. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, the first one is up. You'll go and you can see it if you like. Um, but it's also something that she'll have forever. She can use it to teach other people. She can, you know, look at it when she's old and gray. Just, she can always go back to it. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, I got to get off here and get to work. And I just got to go get dressed and get myself put together. So, I will see y'all next time. And happy 4th of July. And thanks for watching.